All right, so I know it's been an awfully long time since I made a video. I just honestly haven't made the time and I really need to and per a friend who he really persuaded me that to just, even if I have a few minutes here and there, to just do it and just take a few minutes at a time and just leave videos at least once a week. So I'm gonna try my very best. And uh, really got me going since per a conversation that just happened with somebody very close to me. Um, I figured it was a good topic for a video and maybe some people would really understand what I'm trying to say. And hopefully this video, it, it might actually help other people. <sighs> we all know the people who are always the victims in their own life. And somehow, one way or another, they're always blaming other people for them being the victim. And you can blow smoke up this person's ass all day long. You can try and explain to this person you know, exactly what you're saying and how to lift them up and be uplifting and how to get them to be their fullest potential. But somehow, they don't see it. And I will re recap a little bit of the conversation as much as I can of what kind of went down. Mostly it was a lot of me talking, so um, I will try and re <laughs> recap a lot of what I said. But they always want to play the victim. And no matter what they what anybody else says, you know, they're the victim. It's somehow somebody else's fault. For everything that happens in their life, it's always somebody else's fault, somebody else's problem, why they're this way. And one thing I said well, was a lot of what I said, but one of the things I said was, you are so busy that you you don't understand what I'm telling you that I'm trying to be uplifting. I'm trying to be positive. I'm not asking you to be me. I'm not saying to be, you know, because, you know, as good as me. That's not what I'm saying. I want you to live up to your full potential. And it might actually it'd be better than me, you know. It's just when you try and lift somebody up and they're just negative, they always want to point the fingers. And it's always pointing them at you. And you're trying to explain to them how, no, it's, it's, I'm not trying to, you know, bring you down. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm trying to lift you up, but you're just not seeing it. They're, all they're seeing is, one of the, <laughs> all they're seeing is, when you're trying to put your hand out to help this person up, all they somehow see is you point a finger. That they don't notice that your whole hand is out trying to help them up. But somehow, in their mind, they're going to put it back on you that you're pointing the finger. And I had my hand in their face, and I'm like, I'm trying to help you. But you see my finger pointing at you that somehow you're not right, you're not good enough. That somehow I'm telling you that you're not, you know, a good person or you're not. This. I'm not saying that. I'm trying to really honestly tell you that you can be so much. You have such a bright future. You have such potential to be amazing, but yet you're so scared of failing that you don't even try. That you roll around in the mud of your own pity party trying to dig your grave to feel bad about yourself, but yet you want to point the finger at me that it's somehow my fault. And as I'm standing there with my hand out, you're telling me that it's me pointing my finger at you that you're not good enough. And I don't understand that. And trying to get this person to understand where I'm coming from. I'm not there to put you down. I'm not there to shove you in your that, that hole you have that you're you're constantly digging deeper. I got my hand out to help you up, to help you realize what you're capable of, to tell you how amazing that you can be. But all they hear is negative, 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 that I'm always complaining, I'm always bitching, that somehow you know, I'm telling them that you're not as good as me. I can do it better. And they're not understanding what you're really saying is you can be great. You can be amazing. You can be above me. I'm trying to lift you out of that hole with my whole hand and pull you up and push you above me. But you don't see it. All you see is a finger pointing at you. Not my whole hand helping you. And... This person, I really, really hope that they get it. I pray they do. One of these days, some of this magical stuff that I tell them, that I tell them, this is magical stuff. I'm telling you this magical stuff. And you, you just, you need to get it. And they're just looking at me with this blank look and just taking, taking it like I'm yelling at them. And I'm trying my best to explain to them 
my hand is out only to lift you up and to lift you higher than myself. But you don't see that. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm not just telling you do this, do this, do this. I'm there to help you. I'm not there to just tell you how to do it for yourself. I'm there bent over, reaching as far down in that hole you've dug yourself to help you out of it, to lift you higher than I ever am. Just, just, and you're not seeing it. That all you see is a finger pointing at you as you dig yourself deeper. So I'm hoping that one of these days, something will click and they will understand. But <laughs> I really try so hard, <laughs> you know, teenagers, <laughs> you know, and another thing that, that we talked about was demons. Everybody has demons, everybody, and everybody's is different. Some people, they are not capable of shining from within because their demons are running amok and they're clouding everything that where they just can't shine from within. They can't have that inner peace when there's demons running around. And it's really hard for you to have inner peace and be happy and have that light shine from within when there's such darkness that is around and you, you can't even identify them. My conversation about this was, same conversation, <laughs> No matter how those demons got there. Yes, sometimes demons are from a part of your life that they were given to you. A demon can be given to you from my past, for example. Abusive home. You know, you know, being put down. Just mental abuse, physical abuse. I mean, just it's just so much. But that demon was given to me, yes, by somebody else. And I could all day long, the rest of my life, point my finger at why this demon is somehow there from you. That doesn't do me any good. So what I recommend, no matter how you came upon that demon, it is now yours. It is your demon. You can let it grow up and go crazy, and then you can be clouded by those demons. Or you could take charge own the fact that yes, this demon came from this part of my life and this is why I have this demon. It's not my fault that I have it, but guess what? It is mine. It is now my demon. And before you can conquer these demons and tame these demons, because conquering these demons, all you can do is lock them up, but that doesn't do anything because the second they get out, they run crazy. You have to learn to conquer and train them. And what I mean was, you first have to learn that they're demons. Everybody has them. You gotta learn their names. I had one of mine, it was anger. And I caged it. I mean, it took me years to cage it because for the longest time I pointed the finger at everybody else of why it was there. It was somehow everybody else's fault it was there, which it was. It was given to me from my past, but it was now mine. And you have to own it. I own this demon, it is now mine. So I know the name of my demon, one of them, anger. And it took me many years, many, 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 many years to cage that. But whenever that demon would just escape, it would go crazy and not a good thing. I get angry. And once you learn where it's from, once you own that is now yours, once you learn its name, once you cage it, you have to tame it. That way, if it ever gets free, guess what? You don't have to worry about it as much. Yes, I still get angry and I yell. But I don't nearly get as angry as I used to. And overall, conquering all my demons and taming my demons and naming my demons and making them my own. One, they can't be used against me because I own my shit. Nothing anybody can ever tell me will ever belittle who I am because I own it. Yes, I, have get, I get angry. Do I get angry like it? No, because I've learned his name and I've tamed it. And if you can't even, if you can't even recognize that you're, they're yours, then you never will. You're never going to tame a demon if you won't even recognize they're yours. And you're never ever going to be happy in your life, ever, genuinely, peacefully happy, 
unless you learn to tame your demons. Mine were there from my past. They were given to me. But they're mine. You can lock them in a cage and cage them, but they get out. They're not good. They're still damaging. Now you own your demons. You name them, you cage them, you train them, and you just learn how to be happy, genuinely to your soul happy. And then it's like a light just illuminates from you. And then people pick up on that. Just two years ago, you know, things were just so different between with, with me and people that people, they thought I was so intimidating, which I still get that because I am. I am a very strong presence. And, but now it's not that scary like, oh, here she comes. It's more of, yeah, look at this. She's got her, she's got her shit together. Yeah. You know, I, I demand a presence and I, and I do. It's unintentional, but people notice. I can walk anywhere and people notice. But now instead of it being a scary thing, that I'm intimidating. I am intimidating. But now it's a different level. It's I'm intimidating because she's got her shit together. Look at her. People see it. People now, instead of saying so much intimidating, I'm more magnetic. People are just, just like a magnet now to where there's such light that illuminates from me that people are just drawn to me. And two years ago, it was so different. And then now there's so many people that just, everybody I meet, honestly, you know, people are just drawn to me, you know, and say like, I'm single, I go on dates and it's just, you're magnetic. I meet people, you're magnetic. You know, I'm always there to lift people up. You know, people, a lot of people who know me know this. Uh, a lot of my coworkers are my friends. We actually hang out. We spend 11 hours a day together and we still go out. And I know a few of them watch. <laughs> so people say that I'm magnetic. You know, that I have this charisma about me. And it's because I genuinely want the best for people. I genuinely try to help people. But I stand firm in my ground of who I am as a person. And I do my very best to be the best person I can for other people, but I know who I am. And a lot of people, they can be nice and genuine and be happy, but you also need to be strong at who you are. And it's very hard to explain, you know, but a lot of people who, who know me in person, they just, they just love being around me. I mean, I make people laugh so much, their face hurts. It's a compliment I just got the other day. I love to be fun. I love to be silly. Um, it's just such a different way of being to be genuinely happy. And the fact that I like to be funny on top of it. You know, people just, people love that. And you need to be that for people. And even though people, you try your best to try and explain things to them and they don't get it and they want to turn everything you say positive to a negative, I'm not going to turn my back on them. I'm going to do my very best for them to eventually see what I'm doing is there to help them. They may be angry with me now, but eventually I'm hoping that they will understand where I'm coming from because I want them to be better than I am, better than I ever will be. I want them to be them. And another part of the conversation we had was that they will never be as good as me. and. You know, of course, the whole pity me, pity me, you know, I'm a victim role. When you have people in your life that are so amazing and you see such potential that they refuse to reach up and try and be the best they can be because they're scared of failing or whatever reason it is. And there are things that no matter what I do or what I say, I can't fix it within somebody else. You have to, you have to fix it yourself. You have to realize your demons and name your demons and quit blaming everybody for why you have them. We all do. And you have to tame them. And then you just have to be a better person and be not, not be afraid of, of failure. A fa there's no failure unless you don't bother, you quit trying. That's failure. Otherwise, they're just lessons. You were like, oh, well, shit, that didn't work. Let me dust myself off and do it again this way. And guess what if you fell again? Just keep doing it and you will get there, you know? And 
they were saying how they're, they would never be as good as me, which, whatever. They can be better than me. I am there to dig you out of that hole you've digging for yourself so deep that I almost can't reach you. To have my hand out to help lift you up above me. To be better than I ever will be. You gotta quit being a victim first. But this person always says that they live in my shadow. But they're the same person that no matter how much I move for them not to be in my shadow, they're in my shadow, but yeah, it's my fault they're there. When I'm chasing around trying to move so they can get the light, so they can, you know, and I'm holding my hand to try and get them out of my shadow, trying to say, no, it's okay, come out. But they still want to say it's my fault they're there. But all I can do is just try and explain that if you're going to put yourself in my shadow, don't blame me the fact that you're there. If you want to remain there and be a victim, don't blame me because you're there. Because I've done everything in my power to help move for you to get out of my shadow. But I can't move you for yourself. You have to do it for yourself. I can only offer help, guidance, wisdom, wisdom that I wish I had. Oh my gosh. Things that I've had to learn on my own. And this person is young and bright and just amazing and so full of potential but too scared to do anything about it and all they want to do is blame me oh while they're in that hole they dug as i'm standing there with my hand out and they're claiming i'm pointing fingers so that was a real conversation that just happened a few minutes ago so I was going to do a video diary for myself to make a video later, but I probably will use this one. And I just really hope that this helps somebody else and or at least resonates with somebody else or, you know, benefits or if you feel like you're that person that's always trying to hold your hand out and they just keep smacking it away saying you're, you're pointing fingers not to give up that now don't drown yourself for nobody else. I will drown myself for this one. Actually, I won't. I'm strong enough to, to, to handle us both. Yeah. I'm strong enough to carry us both if I need to. But eventually, they need to learn to swim on their own. But don't ever drown yourself for somebody else. You know, if you're not strong enough to carry them, then find another way, somebody else, to help you carry them. Some people, you can't help. Some you can. They're just so stuck in their ways that they don't see what you're trying to do for them. So don't turn your back on people unless you absolutely have to. Because I know there are some circumstances where you, you just have to. But on the people that you know that have such potential and you really want to help, don't give up on them. So anyway, that's enough of my rambling for now. You know. And I promise that I will do my very best to do videos more because I know it's been a while. There's so much that I could actually tell. So many things that have gone on in this last year that I could make a lot of videos and I just haven't. And that is my fault. And even though life has been hectic and busy and crazy and amazing, it's no excuse. I just haven't made the time. So, hopefully my first video back, this is good enough. This is hopefully is a good video. So, hopefully it helps somebody else and hopefully it's, it benefits somebody. So, okay, there will be more videos to come and I promise that I'll do my very best to continue my YouTube channel because so many people, especially my friends, who twisted my arm a little bit at brunch the other day, you know, with a guilt trip, who I know will be watching this, <laughs> that um, I'll make them proud. And I will make you all proud. And I'll do my very best to share so much of what's going on the last year. Some of it's 
disheartening, but in the long run, a survivor. You know, it's been a lot, long journey, but my journey hopefully will give others strength and benefit somebody else some other way. And that is what it's for. So I put myself out there publicly for others benefit that hopefully my voice and my story and my journey and my failures and trials and everything I've gone through, you know, medically and just everything will benefit somebody. And that is why I have publicly put myself out there is for somebody who desperately needs it. So, okay. I guess that'll be the end of this video. So I promise to do my very best to do weekly videos. So if you ever have any suggestions, please let me know and I will be making more. All right. Thank you.